real quick guys if you guys haven't seen my last video go check that out right now you choose my next car mod for the brz i believe that's what i titled it it's right here the link is down in the description below to go take a look at that video it's exactly what it sounds like i give you three options to choose from that are going to be the next mod and you get to pick voting is over in like another week if you want to be a part of the voting and if you want to be a part of choosing the next car mod go watch that video comment down below on that video which mod or comment on one of the pictures of the brz in on my instagram my instagram is down below but yeah that's pretty much it on to the video obviously by the title of this video you guys know what the video is going to be about you guys are probably like everyone knows how to take off a car battery and put a new one in that's so easy that's so simple correct and also incorrect there are people roaming this earth that don't know how to remove a car battery men women children whoever well, first things first is my car specifically it has four nuts on it right and they are 10 millimeter 10 millimeter may not be the same for every car step one pop the hood open step two locate your battery it'll be in a different spot for every car like my ford focus has it on that side my brz has it on this side this is your car battery these are the terminals that i'm going to be replacing because look at them look at all that rust so first things first i'm going to show you how to take off the car battery all you need to do is one two three four loosen those up then you remove these take the bracket off and then you lift your battery right up you can either use a ratchet or a wrench. I'm using a ratchet just because it's easier. Four nuts are two on the bracket. Oops, that's setting it. Two on the bracket and two on the terminals themselves. So because of the placement of my battery, uh, I couldn't use this long socket. So I switched to a smaller socket. This one's loose enough to take off surprise kind of hopefully your terminals aren't as rusted at mine so it should be simple so now you just want to take off there you go and i didn't mention before there should be a hook that this clings to hooks right there and then that's when you put it through here and then put the nut back on there we go this one's just difficult and there's your second terminal oh god sorry i'm weak I'm, I've, I've been going to the gym and i am sore <laughs> and if your battery's bad now you just replace it with another battery Put it back in, you do the exact same steps, just backwards. There will also be a hook for this one. Make sure it's in there before you tighten this down. I'm just kind of doing it with my hand so it doesn't fall out of the hook. And then you move on to this one. Go, tightening it down. Now you just put your terminals back start with positive negative and then you tighten that down tighten that down tighten that and that it doesn't have to be like extremely tight but you see it doesn't move anymore doesn't move anymore doesn't move anymore and now the last thing you do is turn your car on to make sure it's all properly placed. Don't close the hood yet. Test it first. And there you have it. You changed your car battery with me and now you know how to do it. Um, now I'm going to figure out how to change my battery terminals because those are very old and they just, they just don't look pretty. 
this I don't know how to do. So now you know how to change your car battery. And now we can both learn together how to change your battery terminals. After doing a quick like few minutes research and after taking off the terminals myself, I made a very quick discovery. Uh, I cannot change the battery terminals. At least I can't change the negative. And for the positive, I can't seem to find any in store like at AutoZone, O'Reilly's, Advance, any positive ones that would fit. Because the only ones that show on those websites are the ones where they have little clamps where you would put in the wire from the connectors. But yeah, this was a fail. Like I know how to do it, but I have to order the, I mean, I could probably find the positive terminal somewhere. Negative terminal, I am gonna have to order online either from a dealership or straight from like Subaru slash Toyota themselves. Let me show you why. The positive terminal is super straightforward. Super simple. There's your positive. Um, I can switch this out easily. I would just need to find it in store, but I don't have one for the negative nor can i find it in stores so yeah pretty simple this right here just gets put underneath this one and then you put your positive terminal in like that simple right straightforward and then you have your negative i unscrewed it and then the quick realization once this came off, I was hoping it would just detach like that one did, but you have to get this entire piece. I need to order this part online, which is why I won't be changing my battery terminals today. This is not the usual way to replace your battery terminals. I have found some very informative, straightforward, very simple videos. So if you have the normal battery terminals is what i'm going to call them um you don't have to order any parts you don't have to go to a dealership to buy to get the parts um i'll link those videos down in the description below that i found super helpful no the subarus the brz's decided to be different in a more complex way and i don't appreciate it but it's all good i'll order the parts I'll get these switched out. Just put this back together since I won't be doing this today. You know what though? At least one good thing came out of this video. At least if you didn't know, now you know how to change a car battery. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that. And I'll see you in the next one.